Welcome back to Operation Pixel. We're here again with Zymon. Yeah. Uh, just so you know, uh, now that you have a shield equipped, you should be able to hold down R1, and you can probably spin too. Spl yeah, look at us go! <laughs> Alright, so I don't remember where exactly we left off, but I did recently get this new scale mail armor. Uh, oh right, we sort of dodged these guys. Um, so yeah, I'm really interested to see how much this armor helps me. I got took a while to kill. Uh, so yeah, what's been going on, Simon? Not much. About to pwn some doors today. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. You think you can take a couple doors? Oh yeah, I'm gonna pwn these doors today. And that's just a random thing I've noticed throughout the week. Uh huh. Uh, you know how like uh, have you seen the uh, you seen the Predator movies, right? Um, I saw the first one at least. You know, um, when you uh, at first you can't really see where it's at until later in the movie and stuff like that. Uh huh. But you hear the sounds that it's making. Yeah. Um. Oh, good God, my health. I'm oh, dead. Geez. Oh no, I'm not. Nope, nope. Pwned that door. All right, I'm blocking them 300 style. Let him have it. But uh, what I noticed since I do a lot of walking, my uh, my uh, my job. And I'm gonna press L1. We don't need the map block in the screen. Sorry, <laughs> too. I'm so glad I can just block these guys like forever, basically. Like, nobody's ah. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I must really like to like look at my map or whatever. <laughs> How much have you used a PS2? Uh, a little. I guess not much though. These controllers are definitely more comfortable in the hands of someone who's uh, used to using them. But uh, like, like I was uh, mentioned earlier, um, there's like a huge mess of crows where I work. Uh huh. It's like ridiculously. Alfred Hitchcock, the birds, ridiculous amount of crows. Uh huh. And um, I noticed that they make sounds more than just the traditional. Gah, gah. Uh huh. And they make like this clicking type of a sound that's very similar to the predator. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. I'm like, is this, is this like a predator behind me? <laughs> Am I gonna get uh, knifed in the back with this? Uh, Claws right there, or you betcha. <laughs> Get blasted by his blaster. Are you carrying a gun? I wish. <laughs> the predator, He's just gonna sneak up the behind me. Won't bother you. Grab me by my neck and like rip out my spinal cord or whatever. Yeah, you're it's not like worth hunting. Fatality, finish him. Type of deal. Uh huh. But I, I just noticed that, and that was kind of kind of weird. I wonder if um. I mean. I don't know if there's ever a special feature or anything, or an interview or something that went into that, but I wonder if they used uh, the sound of crows as a part of that effect. Could be. Those guys take a lot of sound effects from a lot of places. Um, I can't remember some of the weird ones I've seen, but you know, sometimes they'll take like a sheet metal or something like that and then like bang it with some weird thing like a sponge or something like that, and they're like, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> and it's like, what are you guys doing? I would love to have that job. It just, would be a fun job. Just hit random things and be like, yeah, yeah that'll work. Yeah, that's a cool sound. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, because I used to know what the uh, sound effect was. like. I think I think it was like the, the TIE Fighters or something like that. The um, sound of their lasers was some weird, bizarre thingy. Yeah. But I can't remember what it was. But yeah, I know. I know movies. Movies do a lot of interesting things. I was watching something the other day on uh, YouTube where they were talking about how uh, apparently, um, like the Lord of the Rings movies, uh, they didn't want to have all their actors wearing heavy, hot chainmail all day. Yeah. So they made like uh, plastic chainmail that looks like actual chainmail. Awesome. Uh, and then they would like make it in like small parts. So basically, they had almost you know, no chainmail on, but the rest of it was obscured by uh, the rest of their clothes, so you couldn't tell that uh. it wasn't just a full suit of chainmail. 
So they just had like plastic half chain mail on <laughs> underneath their clothes. Oh, I remember one time when we went to a uh, Renaissance fair. Oh, I don't want to remember that. Don't want to remember that. I don't want to remember that. Chain mail. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what are you talking about? Apparently nothing. <laughs> I don't know, it's not that big of a deal. And I feel like, if, if anybody's stuck around to watch this long, then, you know, they're gonna be curious what the story is. Suspense. Will you ever know? Keep watching. <laughs> Stay tuned! There might be a random episode where Zymon reveals the truth. All my dark secrets. <laughs> also, this scale mail is helping so goddamn much. Oh, yeah. Didn't help much when I was getting, like, surrounded back there, and but, uh... Yeah, but it's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, man, look at how much less my health is dwindling in <laughs> seconds. Um, but yeah, so, you know, when, when we were younger, we went to a couple renaissance fairs. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, we were a bunch of nerds. Um, and so there was one time that we saw, like, a stall vendor guy with chainmail, and he asked if I wanted to try it on. And so I was like, yeah, sure, that sounds rad. Uh, and so, I kind of put it on, but it was like, you know, I was a fat kid. I've never been thin. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I'm dead. Let's see, I think there's a save point in the last room we came from. Alright. Burn! <laughs> um. Burn! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I had this, I, I tried on this chainmail, and it was a little tight. Uh, but it was kind of cool. But then, you know, of course, I had to get it off because I wasn't buying it, and, like... And it was a trick and a half to get that off. Yeah. No, the, the problem was it got stuck on my belt buckle. Oh, so, so that's what it was. I was wondering what was, uh... Yeah. What was going on there. Yeah, no, it got stuck on my belt. Uh, and so we, we spent, like, five minutes in the middle of this renaissance fair where there was a ton of people walking by, and I'm just some fat kid trapped in chainmail armor that I can't get off. Oh boy, I'm glad that never made it on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness this is a podcast. Yep. Well, it doesn't matter. Like, it's not like people are watching me struggle to get chainmail off right now. Uh. So, <laughs> they're not missing anything. They're they're getting the full story. Yeah. Um. All right, so I still need to watch my health, but uh, it's not as bad as it was. Man, like, it freaking sucked not having good armor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm also trying to remember how long this game was. Because I cannot remember for the life of me, like, how far we are through this game right now. Well, a lot of games, uh, for the PS2, pretty short. Um, I don't think so. I mean, like, there's a lot of games, obviously. Uh, and some of them are, like, RPGs. And RPGs typically can run, like... 20 to, like, 80 hours. Um. But, like, since this is almost more of, like, a co-op arcade game, arcade-style games usually... Oh, did you grab that thing? You did not. It's all good. Um. Oh! I found a strange medallion. Strange medallion. Uh, was there a way to check, like, our quests? Um. Nope. It might be for that monk guy we found last time. I'm not sure. Yeah, probably. Or someone back in town. We'll talk to some guys in a bit and figure it out. Yeah, we'll bug some people. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, like, arcade-type games tend to not be very long. Like, like you played Resident Evil 4. Oh yeah, I love that game. Resident Evil 4 is a long game. I'll make you pick a DJ. <laughs> Which is actually a great dish. Uh... I have Hello. no idea what you just said. Uh, it's, uh, it's a Spanish dish where you, like, mince up meat and, um, and, uh, potatoes and other vegetables and stuff like that. Uh-huh. And you cook it all together and, um, well, in a lot of Spanish dishes you always have, like, tortillas available and stuff like that, so you make, like, little tacos out of it and stuff sure. like that. It's really good. I just thought it was funny when I was playing, it was like, I'll make you pico chido. Off in the distance. Uh, but I, I really li I really liked that game. Yeah. Like, shooting up all those uh, chainsaw guys. And... Did you ever play Resident Evil 5? 
Uh, I think I played a little bit one time when I uh, came over to your place once, but I didn't really play a lot of it. Yeah, well, I never had a copy of it, but Ark did. Um, and I played through some of it with him. And I think that game had, like, less than eight hours of content. Like, I'm pretty sure uh, Ark and I played through, like, the first few levels together. Alright, this room's clear. Um, we played through the first few levels together. And then, uh, I had to go and have, like, dinner or something. And I came back, and he'd beaten, like, another three levels without me. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then, like, a few hours later, we were done. Oh, jeez. Like, it's it's because it's, like, an arcade game. Like, if the game is designed to be, like, co-op accessible, you can't expect people are going to be able to spend 80 hours hanging out with each other. Yeah. So it's more... Oh, God. You're dead. Now I'm dead. Oh, God. When was the last time we saved? Uh, we should Why didn't we save? <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, folks. Didn't oh, save. God. Now you're going to have to watch us pwn more stuff. Oh, God. No, it's fine. We can just come back next time after we get our progress back uh but yeah the point is that co-op games are usually shorter just because you can't guarantee having two players yeah we'll start the end this episode the way we started <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you can't you can't guarantee that uh co-op games both like players will have like you know 40 hours to hang out together yeah. so they usually tend to make them a little bit shorter so that like it's it's a little more accessible to co-op um so i don't expect this one to be super long but i don't remember how long it is so we'll see what happens Look at your turning radius. I mean, uh, look at me. I'm like, I'm like doing that whole spin around that whole bat thing before you like whack the pinata type stuff. <laughs> You're just some spinning little top right there. Well, it's because I'm very quick. I'm very quick. <laughs> Anyways, we'll come back next time.